this is the moon and surrounding it there is some dust so this satellite which was traveling in circular orbit it starts to experience some force alpha v square due to the dust surrounding the moon so if it starts here let's say this is the starting point so ideally it should just travel in circular orbit but because of this dust its velocity will decrease and because of that its orbital radius will start to slowly decrease so it will go in this spiral path until it falls to the surface of the moon so if the radius of this uh, initial orbit is given we need to find how long the satellite will stay in orbit until it falls on the moon's surface now this resistive force is given as small slight resistance which means orbits are always almost circular so with this information we can arrive at the velocity of the of the satellite when it is at a distance x so let's solve this problem we are going to do it with two methods first method is work power energy method so total energy of the satellite so of any satellite which is traveling in a circular orbit is given as minus gmm by 2x so this energy includes potential energy and kinetic energy and power which is the energy gained by the satellite we know is f dot v which is de by dt so this equation we are going to put the value of e here and values of f and v so f is alpha v square and velocity we know is root gm by x so we are talking about the moment when it is at a distance x so this gives d minus d by dt of gmm by 2x so this is d by dt is equal to f dot v now f and v are in opposite directions so the dot product will be in negative so this becomes minus alpha v square into v and v we will replace with root gm by x so we'll do that and now we'll see we have only x and t to deal with so we'll take the x term here and t terms here now the x so initially it was at a distance eta times r and eventually it falls to a distance r and time goes from 0 to t so we solve this integral and get our answer so this is the work power energy method now let's see another method where we are going to use the, the we are going to concerns concern ourselves with only the tangential motion of the satellite so tangentially the force on that satellite we can write as mat which is m dvt by dt and what is the tangent tangential force it is minus alpha v square so that is m dv by dt so this uh, force due to the dust is a retarding force so you can see that this m dv by dt is negative so now we have v and t terms so t goes from 0 to t and velocity so when it was initial at the initial point the velocity will be root gm by this radius sorry this distance and finally it will be root gm by this distance so that is the limits of velocity so we do that and we are able to do that because the orbits are nearly circular solving this also we are going to get the same answer all right